Ayo kita bangun. Oke, okay. um, wait a minute, somebody call me. Um, hey, do me a favor. Um, um, call me back, call me back. See that elephant back there? Yeah, okay, okay, I'll call you back. Yeah, hello, my name is Eric R. Benford, and I call myself Mr. Innovator. And I know there's a lot of innovators out there. I mean, we're, we are not alone, excuse me. Um, just for the record, um, we, we need leaders. And um, I, by the way, I was at the inclusion at the uh, CMHA uh, meeting the other day. And I met some of the people there and uh, got a chance to speak. But um, my real concern is that um, we, we need a change for environment connections. Um, we need to um, have a club of people or, let me put it this way. Let me tell you the story. Okay, one day, I had, we, we got this president in the house, first of all, and he mentioned the word innovation. Now, I have been calling those people on TV to say, call me if you got an idea, we'll show you how to patent this and that. Well, well let me tell you this. When I called them, I found out they were just regular people sitting in the home on their computers taking information so they can get them a cut. So so I wrote this thing on this Obama sign right here. Go over there and show it where it says stimulus innovation bill. Right here where it's, where it's like uh, stimulus innovation bill. And, and, and that was for uh, to every 50 states creating jobs. Funds for zero and out poverty. I, Eric R. Benford, and other American inventors together, we can make an America world change or America change. It depends if they want to gang in. So remember this. Um, as far as the market world, um, the market world is um, a world of environment and I hope it's safe for everyone. Because um, when I was a kid growing up, uh, we had Mattel and Kenner's. And, and, and my uncles and aunties, they all had jobs. And, and even the holidays was great because we all had gifts. Now, we're living in a time now where their kids doesn't, doesn't have anything to really do but play with TV games. And, and, and we live in a world where communication has been cut off. Um, so we, we have to evaluate ourselves and see what's more important with innovation. Now, if I have an idea that can make $200 million every year for the rest of my life, now, I'm going to ask you guys, do you think I want to keep that money uh, out of 200 million every year? All I'm looking for is a million dollars in my pocket. Now, I'm a type of investor that want to invest on the future because I never got a chance to play the game. And I'm asking the sports players, can I play the game? Now, there is a, there is a box like this, but I had to get out the box. You know, because if I stay in the box, I'd just be a fox. But um, this is one radio station that just won't let me talk. They, they actually said that um, you can't talk, you're mental. Everybody know what station that is. See, when I, when I call myself Mr. Innovator, I was thinking about doing things like, okay, why, why can I invest in the church? In the churches, you know, invest in the churches and uh, bring revenue to the table. And there's a way to do that. And at the same time, we can teach people what righteousness is. And, and if they don't do it, um, that's their soul. But at least what I had that was given to me as a gift to be an a innovator to bring revenues, at least I can take what they said in God we trust and put it inside of a trust fund that teaches people to come to church because they have to pay bills too. So if we can make school as building a building or, or doing cars, a part of In God We Trust, why can't we use In God We Trust to bring our neighbors to the point of what is righteousness is? And I want to start being an investor on that, but I'm hoping we don't have to hide the Bible. Because if we do, we know we're going in the wrong direction. But for the second record of it all, um, um, a lot of my ideas that came out probably was yours and mine, but I know mine was 
these spring wheels, the lights on the jump shoes, the Airwick spray can to spray 15 seconds, and the Chad Johnson, I had that for him. It was a Mercedes Benz dealer. When you're driving a car, the car automatically stops when you're not paying attention. Uh, see, I, I would like to be an innovator through sports, not the president. The president sets the level. It's the players to play the game. And if I'm in the seats and I got an idea, then I'm going to let the players play the game. So um, we have to upboot sports because it's part of keeping kids safe from being in, in arms way and doing wrong things. Sports is a very big key factor. And that's all the sports players. And by the way, my email is Eric R. Benford at, no, 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 let me get that right. <laughs> Is that right? Hold on. What is it now? Is what is it? Fifty-two. Okay, it's fifty-two states. Innovation gmail dot com. Am I correct? Okay. Now I have a music and a video there, and it's Eric R. Benford on YouTube. But I'm just playing with music right now. Don't laugh at me now. Some of you guys are not good as what I am, but I think I'm doing good for not having. Nothing but some old keyboards that's probably way back in 1979, 1980. See, if I had some of this money, I could get me a nice studio. And I would like to meet Snoop Dogg or if anybody got any equipment like musicians out there that's, that's, that's sitting in the closet or anything, I, I like to have a nice set of instruments so I can do some different type of music. Because what I have now is just totally, matter of fact, it's broke right now. Uh, what I need is leadership. Um, get in touch with me and and come up to the um, Elephant Restaurant and um, Clifton and that's uh, the Elephant Restaurant. What, what's the address? Um, what was the address? Wait, no, wait. Just Miller. Yeah, Big Miller, Big Miller Street. Um, um, just come up there and get some delicious food. And um, anybody down the city hall. Um, Charlie Winburn, all the way through anyone, I want you guys to come up to the Elephant and get some nice food. And as um, far as the police out there, I need you guys to come in the restaurant and sit down and get to know the people. And uh, we, we have to bring people to the table. And to the table, for the sports players, I wish that someone would get in touch with the Marvin Lewis, or maybe I have to do it, but I'm having a hard time trying to do it. If Marvin Lewis can listen to me and, and come up to the elephant wall, uh, we, we got your favorite colors on the wall, and, and we got some delicious food. So Marvin Lewis, I appreciate you starting that donation for the kids because, hey, you helped touch down those other families. But in the process, I need to have my family touch down too. So I want to be a player in your game. So email me at 52 states, 52 states, innovation, gmail.com, and, 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 and just, just, just get with me. I'm kind of shaky on the camera, though, so, so remember this. I, I really don't want to be in a box. See, the box ain't got nothing to say. That's why I'm outside the box. And what is it you have to tell me? Hospital. Oh yes, yes. About the hospital, about how they, how the uh, mental, how they put me in the mental hospital. Why they put me in there? But let me let me tell y'all why they put me in the mental hospital. This this go trip you out. My daughter was having a baby at the hospital at the university. I had three run-ins with university hospital. I even got chased down on my job by university officer cops. This is in Clifton. They want to put me in the mental hospital for what reason? Okay, when I went to the hospital, I had a picture of a, some items of innovation. And these officers didn't like it. So the officer I gave my information to at the first desk in University Hospital, they didn't have the stickers on the one where you had the guns, not the brain, even though I had a broken BB gun with a broken handle and a brown bag, and I had an artwork picture of a, a gun, and uh, it was safe, one of the bullets. And the reason why I had it, because my kids was playing with a gun, I took it away from them. But in the process, I had nowhere to throw it away when I got off the bus, so I asked the officer, could he hold it? in a brown bag, and he looked at it, and he called the other officer, which was a lieutenant, and I ain't gonna say the name, but uh, he harassed me while I was trying to be seen by the nurse in the line, registration line for the nurse, and he came down there, and he said, you the guy with the big gun. I said, wait a minute, a cardboard gun? 
And he asked, so I got out the line because he kept hogging in my ear. So I went up to the mental hospital one and I said, this officer would keep on harassing me, which was a uh, lieutenant. So the lieutenant comes behind me and slams me on the floor like Superman, right? And, and they took me to the mental, mental hospital. I guess he found out something about I've been in there before, but I had no reason to be in there. I'm telling you what's going on. So he found that information out, and I had a book with all the ideals in it. And it was called Gun Notification System, and, and it wasn't for the guns. It wasn't for the guns. I don't have anything to hide. It wasn't for the guns. It was for America. It was it was for the for NRA. I, I had a certain person contact NRA and higher priority to ask them, would it be all right? I asked this, but since I mailed letters to Congress and um, LWV Women Voting League show you how to write letters to the president, well. I asked someone in Congress, do, do they know anything about LWV? And the president of LWV told me she, she didn't know, she didn't have any contact with the president get touched by putting his address in there for I could probably write my letter to Congress. So when I wrote my solutions with my artwork on my envelopes with specific drawings on them, let's keep that a secret because that's the truth to find out if my letters got sent to the right people. I'm not blocking no people, but when I mail my letters out, uh, mine is private. Now, now, when I addressed my letter to Congress, to Obama, it wasn't supposed to go in anyone else's hands. Now, what's the big sequester? When you, when you look up the word sequester in the dictionary, I look it up and it says to withheld someone's property. Now, why when I get involved with the Target House and uh, College Hill, uh, why these people don't want to work with me through ethics investigation? When I ask my caseworker, would they work with me? You know what they told me? Uh, Mr. Ben, we, we can't work with you through Congress. Now, I'm saying, why is that when I was practically raised up by the government and lived in the state? And, and when I called the school, the, the college school, and I asked them why, I sent solutions to the government. It was about seven solutions. And um, I asked the college teacher, um, can I send my solutions to you guys because they can't say we get a right in Congress. So the teacher tells me, if it's dealing with the government, we don't want the ideals. And I found that very sad because how are we going to work together as a governor of state? What's going on? NPR. Oh yeah. By the way, let me forget. Let me, let me tell you this. There's a there's a radio station that I really love, and and, and Dinah Reen and all her team workers. Every show that they have, and you, and you guys, all you black people out there, white, Chinese, Puerto Rican, Mexican, get hip to NPR. And by the way, I donate to NPR. It, it, it's probably $2 a week or if more. But if I get my first idea going out, I am going to set an account with NPR. That's WVUX. This station means... Leadership. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, listen to the shows when they come on. There's shows for all type of people. This radio station is hot. It's hot. And email me at um 52 states innovation gmail.com. And my name is Eric R. Benford. And I'm on YouTube. And I have one specific video, and it's called What We Do White House. And thank you for listening. Let's all go and innovate. So remember this. I'd rather be outside the box than to be 